Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation from Romania. We have 2 to the power x plus 2 thirds to the power x plus 3 fourths to the power x equals 3. And we're going to be solving for x values. And while solving for these x values, I'm going to talk about an important inequality, which is called AMGM inequality. All right, so first of all, notice that the bases are somewhat related. If you multiply 2, 2 thirds and 3 fourths, you get 1. Because everything cancels out. So we're going to do substitution here, which is, you know, a favorite method for me, which is very powerful. So let A equal 2 to the power X, B equal 2 thirds to the power X, and C equal 3 fourths to the power X. Notice that these are exponentials with positive bases, therefore A, B, C are all greater than 0. Awesome. And since A, B, C are all positive, then we can basically apply what is called the AM, GM inequality. I'll talk about that. AM, GM inequality applies. Now also notice that if you multiply A, B, C together, you're going to get 2 times 2 thirds times 3 fourths to the power x, which is equal to 1 to the power x, which is equal to 1. So we have the product a, b, c equal to 1, and a, b, c are all positive. Therefore, we can use AMGM inequality. So let me go ahead and talk about how AMGM inequality works. Basically, the AMGM inequality for three numbers, three positive numbers, works like this. You have the arithmetic mean of the numbers, which is their average, in other words. You add them up and divide by 2. And you take their geometric mean. Geometric mean is basically you multiply them in and you take the cube root of the product. And the AMGM inequality says that the arithmetic mean, or the average, is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean. Now we're going to talk about why this applies and then we're going to use it. So how does this inequality work? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, take a look at this inequality from a different perspective. In order to prove this inequality, I'm going to consider the following: Let a equal m to the third power, b equals n to the third power, and c equal k to the third power. So we're going to consider the expression m cubed plus n cubed plus k cubed minus three m and k. If you've seen some other videos that I made you'll probably remember that this polynomial is divisible by m plus n plus k. And the other factor is m squared plus n squared plus k squared minus mn minus mk minus nk. Now I'm going to go ahead and focus on the second expression here. Obviously, since a, b, c are all positive, m and k are also going to be positive because they're just going to be cube roots of these numbers. Great. Now, what can we do with this type of expression? Well, I have kind of something like this, the sum of squares minus the two a products. And now this can be written in a really interesting way. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by two and divide by two. So the numerator is going to give me the following two m squared plus two n squared plus two k squared minus two m n minus two m k minus 2 and k. And I'm going to divide that by 2 to balance out the equation. Now, notice that this can be split up into three different expressions. m squared minus 2mn plus n squared plus m squared minus 2mk plus k squared plus n squared minus 2nk plus k squared. And all of that is divided by 2. And here, notice that these are perfect squares. Perfect. Right? We can go ahead and write this one m minus n quantity squared, m minus k quantity squared, and n minus k quantity squared. And all of that is divided by 2. Notice that no square is negative, so this expression is going to be greater than or equal to 0. 
And we also know that m and k is positive or greater than or equal to zero. Therefore, m plus n plus k is also going to be greater than or equal to zero. Now take a look at this expression. We were able to factor this expression right here, the cubic, and both factors are greater than or equal to zero, which means the product, which is m cubed plus n cubed plus k cubed minus 3m and k is also greater than or equal to zero, which brings us to the following. This is a, this is b, and this is c, and this is going to be the product of their cube root which is cube root of ABC. And this gives us A plus B plus C minus cube root of ABC greater or equal to zero, or, well, actually, we forgot something here. Um, this is going to be a three here, yes. And then this means A plus B plus C is greater or equal to three times the cube root of ABC, and then divide both sides by three, and you will get the AMGM inequality. So AMGM inequality works like this, and let's see how we can apply it to our situation. Remember, we had a equals 2 to the x, b equals 2 thirds to the x, and c equals 3 fourths to the power x. And we know that a, b, c are all positive, therefore we're just going to consider the AMGM for a, b, c, and we know that this is going to be uh, the, you know, the, the average is going to be greater than or equal to 3 a, b, c, the cube root of a, b, c. And we also know that a, b, c is equal to 1, right? I think we kind of show that here because that's what a, b, c are. So we know a, b, c is equal to one. Therefore, this is going to equal one. From here, we get a plus b plus c over three is equal, greater or equal to one. And that is gonna give us a plus b plus c is greater than or equal to three. But we know that a plus b plus c, which is two to the power x plus two thirds to the power x plus 3 fourths to the power x is equal to 3. So a plus b plus c is equal to 3 when a, b, c are all equal. So with the AMGM inequality, the equality is satisfied when all the numbers or quantities are equal to each other. Which means that 2 to the power x needs to equal 2 thirds to the power x and that needs to equal 3 fourths to the power x in order for the a plus b plus c to be 3. Because we have an inequality, and that's kind of like the lower uh, boundary. And this is only true if they're all equal to 1, because their sum is supposed to be 3. So each of them is 1, which means x is equal to 0, and that is going to be our solution. So that basically, I kind of went over the proof of the AMGM inequality for three numbers, and then we used it to solve this equation. And I'm going to show you the graph and what that looks like. And then we'll just, you know, finish up with that. So to keep a long story short, this has only one solution. And let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of this function. This is a very interesting function because 2 to the power x is an increasing function. But 2 thirds and 3 fourths gives us decreasing exponential functions. So their sum is kind of like a mixture of two things or three things, whatever. And you kind of see like a... A parabola shape but it's not actually a parabola because this is not quadratic this is kind of like a mixture of exponentials that's why it has an exponential nature and y equals 3 is a horizontal line and notice that these two graphs intersect at one point which means the line is tangent to the graph which also shows that there is only one solution so in other words the minimum value for this function is 3 and it's attained at x equals 0 which is our solution and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye